Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at my Fighting Legend Goku GT ticket summons. So basically by completing the missions for the Fighting Legend Goku GT event, you have a chance to use, well you get, a bunch of summoning tickets that give you a chance at some pretty interesting SSR units, but also some LR units. Now I covered that in a previous video. So you can take a look at that, but essentially, basically just trying to see what we get with our summons. So trying to just get a good idea, get a good feeling for what we're getting with our summons, and basically, you know, how good they can be. Now ideally for me, I would like to get some more copies in Strength UI Goku. Or in AGL Super Saiyan Goku. If that's possible, that would be pretty cool. Um, God Goku as well would also be pretty great. But if I could get a copy of any of those three, that would be pretty nice. But I'll take any of them because I don't have any of those four LRs rainbowed. Uh, for those who don't know, it's the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the Strength UI Goku, the AGL Super Saiyan Goku, and it is the... Um, into God Goku so yeah pretty good stuff so basically you know that's kind of what I'm hoping for if I can get one of those it'd be pretty cool the LRs are not guaranteed so it is a bit difficult to kind of measure like how happy you are like there's a decent chance of getting them but there's also a chance that you can get only SRs so it's kind of difficult to measure the SSRs on the banner are not bad uh, either. I think most of them are pretty good. Um, like, I think a couple of them are still yet to easy A as well. But yeah, I think a couple of them are pretty good. Yeah, I don't think there's like a major train smash with any of these units. Uh, I think they all have their usability. Like even physical Super Saiyan Goku, uh, you know, his viability is mainly in SBR and ESBR. But there is still some viability with them. I don't think it's necessarily... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so... This... If I'm mistaken, this cannot just be a feature. This only happens if it's an LR. Um, okay, it is a feature, but I'm pretty certain this means it's an LR. Well, it's a bit, uh, a bit rusty since I did some Fighting Legend summons, but... I'm like 90% certain this is an LR unit. So, let, ooh, there, hey, hey, there we go. We got Strength Rai Goku. Nice. So, like I said, that is definitely an LR. Uh, that's one of the ones I wanted. I really, really wanted. I'm super looking forward to Strength Rai Goku's Easy Aim. So, very, very excited about that. So, yeah, that's that's a pretty good one. Not going to lie. that's I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty chuffed. So, yeah, I think anytime you can score an LR, it's basically a bonus here. Uh, honestly speaking, the drop rates are, they are what they are. And there's no SSR guaranteed. I do wish they would guarantee an SSR. It doesn't have to be a featured SSR. It can be like a standard SSR. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can only get Goku-related SSRs on this as well. So, not certain if they're just wanting to, you know, kind of like reduce the scope or reduce the impact of the tickets maybe i mean at the end of the day i'd rather they give out more missions and more tickets and more stones and we have more stuff to do than you know them now only bringing out missions once every two months because they're concerned about the rewards so yeah i think at the end of the day um yeah whatever you can get is basically a luck now the tickets do come in batches of five and you need seven for a summon which is why we're currently going to summon down to like two tickets and take things from there. But yeah, uh, that's my second dupe in Strength UI Goku, so it's a pretty big win. Uh, I think it's a pretty big score overall. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's not bad. Um, if you haven't been doing your ticket summons because of whatever reason, I highly suggest you do it anyway. You know, even if you pick up the featured SSR units, the thing is, is if you pick up the featured SSR units and you rainbow one of them, 
then you're done. You know, like you've rambled them and then you can get coins or normal summons and things like that. So there's no real point to holding on to them unless you're looking to make a YouTube video. But uh, yeah, basically it's not really a purpose to hold on to them. So as soon as you have seven, you might as well go for it. There's no difference between a single summon or a multi-summon. Uh, but I usually wait till I have seven because, yeah, essentially it's, it's just easier than pressing the button uh, seven, you know, six times. Just wait till you have seven and then you can go for it. But yeah, honestly, uh, pretty cool stuff. And we got a strength through Aigoku, so that's a big score for us. So I think overall that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's uh, basically going to be it for me. Hope you guys have some good luck with your summons. I really, really want to hear how they go. And yeah, have you been doing the Fighting Legend Goku GT? Did you even realize you could summon with tickets? Uh, it's a very interesting question. Bye.